These 10 Americans may now have to settle in for what could be a protracted legal fight in an unfamiliar country with a legal system completely different from our own. In other words, it may not be easy. They strode into court full of confidence, their faith intact. We expect that God's will will be done. But they were not released, and they left with no comment at all. Ten Americans now charged with child kidnapping and conspiracy. Chased by the cameras all the way back to the jailhouse. Do you have anything to say? Their own saga now all but eclipsing the plight of the people they supposedly came here to help. The group's leader claims they didn't know they were breaking the law when they tried to take 33 kids across the Dominican border. But the directors of several orphanages here in Haiti told them, so did a Dominican official they asked for help. Don't try to cross the border without the proper permits because you're going to be accused of the 10 of child trafficking. I was really clear to her. Now, the worst case scenario, 15 years for each charge of child kidnapping, nine years for the conspiracy charges, nearly 25 years behind bars. The case is not without international precedent. In 2007, missionaries from the French group Zoe's Ark were convicted of trying to smuggle 103 children out of war-torn Darfur. They were sentenced to eight years hard labor and fined nine million dollars. But the president of Chad later pardoned them. His country relies on the generosity of France as Haiti now relies on U.S. aid. And that may be the best hope for the missionaries for getting out of jail anytime soon. The best estimate from the group's lawyer, their Haitian lawyer, is that a trial would likely last three months. That said, uh, the U.S. ambassador to Haiti visited the jailhouse yesterday, although he didn't talk to the prisoners personally, and he said that the U.S. continues to talk with uh, Haitian officials about the possibility of moving the trial elsewhere.